it's been a lot of bickering back and forth on social media and I think that now nowadays it's too much back and forth back and forth I think the best way to resolve any problem is to do it the old school way uh, physical you guys can't come to a resolution by communicating I think you guys should do it physical with the gloves on kind of like myself a prize fighter a former prize fighter and I think that uh, it'd be real entertaining I think that Soldier Boy is an unbelievable entertainer as well as Chris Brown he's an unbelievable entertainer and I think that a lot of people want to see those two come together and make an explosion. Okay, so the last 48 hours, I was just saying a minute ago to Soldier that I don't think we've reposted anybody more than you. Oh. Um, the internet has been off. Well, we've reposted you a lot as well. I don't even know how I got brought into this, but I don't mind. I'm saying I want to, the thing is this, I'm a promoter. And that's what I do. You know, me, myself, I, w I was involved with the three biggest fights in boxing history. And Mayweather, and Mayweather Promotions was, be was the promoter for all three fights. But hip-hop beef. Mm -hmm. This is a little different. I mean, I think that it's, it's entertaining. All right, so can I just ask some questions? I mean, ask some questions. I'm the promoter. I just want to take the, I want to, you know, I just want to take these guys and entertain the people and get them paid. So I, I, I follow you on social media. I follow Chris Brown. We follow everybody for the most part. I mean, how did it start? Because there, there's so many, and I think where people are confused is just like how did what start? The, the, well, we got to Chris Brown because that's what's gonna, that's what's led beats. us here. Yeah. Right. So how did all the different beefs start? It's just all different situations that happen unexpectedly. You know what I mean? It was no situation where I woke up that day and was like, I'm going to go with this artist, I'm going to go with this artist, and I'm going to go with that artist. No, it just was a situation. Each situation happened differently. And, 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 you know, things escalated quickly. And, you know, I issued my apology. I had to say what I had to say, but whoever want to fight, let's get in the ring and just get it out the way. So, so the little Yachty stuff that happened, I guess, at least what I it's, saw. No, every single beef, not to cut you off, sorry. Sure, every sure. single situation or beef or argument, whatever, has been ignited by the other person. It's never been me. You see what I'm saying to you? Yeah, no, it didn't, it didn't look like you were provoking it. I mean, it looked like at first that the first fight with Lil Yachty over social media started over India Love. Mm -hmm. He commented something about you talking to his girl, she claimed that he was never, she was never with him. Mm -hmm. I think she said something about she was never with you, but apparently you were with her at some point. No, we don't go back and forth about all that, but just know everything I'm saying is 1,000% the truth, and I don't have no reason to lie to nothing. You see what I'm saying? People saying, oh, he beefing for publicity. It's a publicity stunt. He's reaching. What, what kind of publicity I need? I got more, more followers than all these guys put together, Quavo. Yachty and whoever mix them all together. I'm having more followers than all y'all. So what publicity I need? I mean, I think I'm defending myself. I think he's having. I mean, I think that the other, the other guy that he that he has beef with, I think he his his following is a lot bigger. But far as Chris Brown, I don't. His following is probably not as big as Chris Brown's, but doesn't mean that he hasn't made a mark on music. Sure. I mean, I, I lost respect for Lil Yachty when he said that Biggie and Tupac were overrated. So I don't, I mean, I'm not a fan of Lil Yachty's, but... I don't even know who... He, he's like the leader of the new wave, whatever that means. I don't I mean, know. I don't even know who... Uh, he is like Wendy's... Isn't there young... Young, young Lil, Yachty? Little Yachty. Little I mean, Yachty. I don't know. Yachty. He just has red hair. I don't know. Um, okay, so when you guys fell out, then how did that lead over to a beef with Quavo? You want to break down the whole beef? Please. Okay, so basically... I look at Migos like family. I look at Quavo like as a brother. Before Drake got on the Versace song, I was right there. They were staying at my house. The first time they ever came to LA, they came to my house. So I felt that I, those was my boys. So recently I seen Quavo was in LA. I hit him up, what's up, bro? Let's link up, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen you in like a month or something, you know, link up. 
Okay, cool. We're going to link up. So, come to the video shoot with Post Malone. Mind you, I got like five, six songs with Post Malone. I could have just called him, but you might, you're supposed to be my brother, so I'm looking out. Mind you, Quavo from Migos, he going to text my brother the next day and say, I don't, I don't like Soulja Boy. He's fake. I don't want to hang around him. Y'all can come pull up on me, but he can't. So, why would you text my brother and say that? He showed me the phone. You could have just texted me and told me that. I was just on FaceTime with you. You acting like everything all cool. So then it was his idea to fight. He said, man, you think I'm a hoe? I want to hit. And if I'm, I'm from in Atlanta, hit me, fight. You know what I'm saying? It's a slang for fight. So he said, we can hit right now. What's your address? I texted him my address. He never showed up. But I didn't provoke him. I didn't start it. I, didn't, I just said, oh, man, I didn't know we had a problem. You just text my brother and called me a bitch. What's up? Talk to me. So do you think now it's just like people feel like they could come at you because you're not provoking them, so it's just like the cool thing to do to try to try you on social media? I just feel like, man, I'm not where I used to be at in my career. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, I'm st I am still got money. I still got, I feel like these people think that they were hotter than me or they got a song on the radio at the time, so they feel like they can kick me while I'm down, and that's not right. You feel me? It don't matter how hot I am or how, you know what I'm saying? Everybody should be treated with the same respect. Why don't you kind of explain you know, to the people that's watching and listening around the world, basically explain to explain to them about your gun cases, okay. what what happened exactly, so everyone can know basically what's going on. Okay, so basically, a couple of years back, I got caught with a firearm. I got caught with a pistol. I was driving my Bentley. You know what I'm saying? Police pulled me over. I ran a stop sign. They searched the car, found the pistol. They put me on probation for two years. I'm saying I just got off probation like a week, two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? So recently, I've been in a lot of different beefs and stuff like that. I've been flashing guns. My favorite gun is called a Draco. You know what I'm saying? My first name is Drake. My middle name is Cortez. The first two letters of Cortez is CEO. So they call me Draco and the gun called Draco. You know what I'm saying? So bam, somebody called the police, snitched on me, said I had guns in the house. Woo woo. My probation officer came to the house. I had three more days left before I got off probation. So they came, they found a the gun, they locked me up. See what I'm saying? I got out of jail in less than 24 hours, but that's because I got the best lawyers in LA. That's what money do. See what I'm saying? This is a money thing. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, I, uh, I bonded out. I paid my lawyer. He got the he got all the charges dropped. You know what I'm saying? They didn't they didn't they didn't force a probation violation because I served two years, and, I, and within three days I would have got off of probation if I wouldn't got caught with that gun. I got caught with the gun. They didn't they didn't give me a violation. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I didn't get locked up. Mm -hmm. If I would, it wasn't LAPD. It was the probation division that came to see if is he is he around a firearm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm not a snitch. Or what, what did I go into jail and say? Oh, they got bricks over here. They doing this. They doing. No, I didn't say. I didn't make my one statement. I walked in. I didn't say nothing. My lawyer came and I left out. So Chris Brown, what the fuck he talking about? And that came after that came after the the hearts on Carucci's page. Was that just you riding by? Because I've seen you put them on Nicki Minaj's too, and I haven't seen Meek Mill say anything to you. So I don't know. Is that is that when you left the hearts? Is that just something just fucking around on social media, or yeah, what I'm was a grown it? Grown ass man, I can do the fuck I want to do. Can't nobody tell me what to do, when to do, where to do it. Okay. Well, I think that anybody that has, and you're single, and she's single, so that I think that anybody that has social media is allowed to. Like, express themselves. Express themselves like whoever photos they want to like. I, I agree. You can put the money signs. You can put the hearts. Whatever you want to put. So I think the, I think everybody's entitled to do what they want to do. Whatever they want to do. If the champ like Karuchi pictures, see we gonna fight the champ. I mean I don't want. I mean I'm a promoter, and you know what I like to do. I want I want to let both of these guys. So when make, Make some, go out there and make some good money, oh, okay. and it's fun. Not Joe's, M and M's, and it's and it's entertaining, and that's what it's really about. Yeah, you man. know, and, and, to... again, I just I like... mean, we could either have a fight in Los Angeles, or we can take it to Las Vegas. I mean, I think it's up to what both fighters would like to do. Mm -hmm. We're entertainers, becoming fighters. But can we really get into the beef, though? between you and Chris and talk about what's happened. I mean, in the last 48 hours, it's been- I mean, me, myself, I mean, I think, I mean, I think Chris Brown is an exceptional artist. I think he's making great music. He's out there entertaining. I don't know what made him go at 
Soldier Boy. I thought they was friends. That's what I thought. Right. Because from what he told me, you know, Soldier Boy got in touch with the Harlem Hot Boy, AKA P. P Rilla. P. Rilla got in touch with me. And so I asked P. Rilla, do they really want to fight? And P. Rilla said, yes. So I said, let's make it happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's past that point now. We can't squash it. He got to fight me. Well, he said the same thing. So, I mean, it seems like both of you have agreed. I mean, I don't know. Has he agreed to fight? I mean, I know he's made one yeah, comment. Yeah, you ain't seen He made a comment on people. We've written about it. And basically, but, it wasn't me. Well, it wasn't him accepting. It was me accepting the challenge. Okay. He wanted to fight in the ring. Right. So, okay. So we're, we're I want to fight in the street in my hood for nothing. And you went there the other day, yesterday. Yeah. And what, and, and kind of explain what happened because of the way it looked on social media, there were two videos. One showed there was a confrontation with you and somebody that it looked like you were friends with, and then later there was another video that showed you wanted to square up with him. But I mean, people on social media don't really know what happened. Mm -hmm. So all right, this is what happened. Basically, me and Chris Brown from the same hood. Okay. I'm from Bond, from Town Paro. I'm a blood. I'm a member of the Blood Gang. You know what I'm saying? CB is too, supposedly. So how does that work if he's? I, I don't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How does that work if you're from Atlanta and he's from Virginia? No, let the champ talk though. Well, okay. I mean, we'll come back I, to that I, question. I asked him the same thing, you know. But what I'm it. trying to find out, what I don't really understand is this. I'm a lot older now, mm -hmm. so I look at things in a different way. All of a sudden, it seems like it's a fad. It's a fad for artists to become gangbangers yeah. now. And, and I feel that they should focus more on be, being an artist. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think a lot of times, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say my, as myself, do I know uh, g guys that were in gangs before? Absolutely, but they outgrow that. They still know those people, but mm -hmm. it's all about growth. Mm -hmm. When do we grow? When do we outgrow? When do we outgrow gang banging? But we still can have still know them and still be friends and still communicate with them, but we outgrow that. Right. I, no, I, I, that's, that's what I'm trying to find out. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I'm from Stockton. I've been shot in Stockton. I've moved to L.A. I'm not in none of that. I, You know, I listen to gospel when music. I see, when I see, like... I get it. Like, when I see, like, just just everywhere, it's, it's they like, uh, blood this, blood that, blood this, blood that. And, I mean, I don't think the people at home really understand they, it's the Crips is huge. Yeah, the Crips are a huge gang, but I don't think gang banging is like it used to be. Because at one particular time, it was really real. It's kind of watered down now, and I'm not knocking anyone, but it's kind of watered down now. Now, from the the guys that I know that survived, they really used to get it in. And, it, and when they used to get it in, it really meant what they said. They did what they said they was going to do. But I think these artists need to focus more on making music and entertaining. Money team. I agree. I think they should entertain the people. Okay, so if I can go back and ask the question. If you, I know he, I know he, you said, I asked him I mean, the same, if that's a question I, I, that I, nobody I, wants to answer, no, I'm no, fine with no, that. No, 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 I asked him the same question. Because I, I don't I, I said, Chris Brown is from Virginia. Right. And you're from Atlanta. And I asked him, like, how do you guys have a neighborhood? I mean, how are you guys from a neighborhood out here in L.A.? And what did you, what did you say? Basically, what I said was... Once we came out here to LA, that's who we got down with. You see what I'm saying? When I was in Atlanta, I was running hooping around. I've been game banging since I was 11 years old. I've been fighting niggas my whole life. I've been knocking niggas out since high school. You know what I'm saying? In front of the whole school. Bop! Nigga laying unconscious, face first on the ground. So this ain't nothing new to me. You see what I'm saying? But CB, he ain't been to the hood in two years. He got a check in anyway. Whether he was gonna beef with me or not, he's still not good in the hood. The yeah, homies in LA. In LA, the homies is on his head. What's up with Chris? Why he ain't checking in? What's happening? He ain't been to the hood in two years. I just came from there yesterday. And they tried to lie and say, oh, so you got robbed because I didn't get robbed. First of all, I got my two kilo chain right here on my neck and I got my $8,000 pedic. The same thing I had on in the video. Ain't nobody robbed nothing from me. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would never go to the hood when I know I'm 
if it's not, if it ain't good. You see what I'm saying? Basically, what happened was the day before I went to my hood, Chris Brown uploaded a video with the same guy who was in the video, who was in my hood, who I got to the architect's house, got out. I was like, what's up, my nigga, you want to get in? He was in Chris Brown video the day before. So when he seen me, I knew I was going to see them. I knew I was going to run into these dudes, you dig what I'm saying? So when he seen me, he was like, oh, shit, I got to do something. I just was yesterday on Chris Brown Instagram holding guns saying, fuck, soldier boy. Now he right here in front of me in the hood with 30 of his niggas. What I'm going to do? So he tried to push me, you know what I'm saying? When he pushed me, I threw the phone on the ground and, said, and took my chain and said, what's up, nigga, let's get it. He turned around and walked off, you feel me? So from that first angle, it looked like mm -hmm. they came and robbed me and beat me up. And I got jumped and I, no, nigga, you, see all, you saw the real video. You saw the second angle, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But it's not even about it. I'm not even promoting that. That was nothing. That happens in the hood every day. They don't show, I don't want to show what really happened after the footage went off. He started crying, real, real tears. I did it for a publicity stunt, man. I'm not eating Chris Brown pan, but that's neither here nor there. The whole beef started was I was in my house minding my business. New Year's Eve, chilling. Mind you, I ain't have, I like Karuchi picture four months ago. So you telling me you just not caught wine of this right now? You just not want a trip four months later? I can see if I did it today, yesterday, last week, two weeks ago. I did it four, five months ago. You call me on, this is the whole story. I'm sitting in my house. I'm sitting in my house. Chris Brown FaceTimes my phone. I pick up. I say, yo, what's up, bro? He said, listen up, little nigga. Why you liking Karuchi's pictures on Instagram? You got me fucked up. When I see you, I'm going to knock you out. I'm thinking he playing. I'm like, I'm like man, Chris, man, I, I, you know, I didn't think it was going to be no big deal, bro. You know, because from my understanding, I know what's going on in the industry. I know that she not fucking with him. I know that he had a baby on her. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and then, even then, I still thought I was wrong. I was like, you know what? They used to be his girl. I was wrong for liking his pictures. But you know what? At all, you know what? Everybody I asked said, I was wrong. <laughs> my daddy, my OGs, all my homies, every rapper in the industry. I said, yo, was I wrong for liking Karuchi picture? And you know what I'm saying? I got a heart. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody liking my bitch picture either. I'm, I'll probably do the same thing. Not that crazy. But you know what I'm saying? And then they said, nah, bro, I'm going to be real. You wasn't wrong. She don't fuck with him. He ain't seen her in two years. She fucking him every day, and he put, she pulling up to his house, and I don't know that, then that's different. But when I walk into another rapper house and I see her sitting on the couch, and you ain't saying shit to that nigga, don't try to come and pick a fight with me, bro, when all I did was like the picture, and I know that nigga doing more than like the pictures with this chick, that you, you feel me? So then what really made the beef escalate is when she went on Instagram and dissed him. He went on there, I fucked all your yeah, friends. Da, 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 da. She dissed him. So, and then when he dissed her back. This ain't about you. I made you famous. Da, da, da. So, you think so first video no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. Well, so, yeah. you wanna listen. So, you wanna fight me now <laughs> over the bitch. You wanna fight me over this girl that just dissed you and said she don't want nothing to do with you. And she tired of you beefing with Soldier Drake, Tyson Beckford, anybody that show interest in her. And then after that, Rihanna come out and say, she, she don't like your gang banging. She don't like how you diss Karuchi. She on my side. She, you know what I'm saying? Now you look crazy. Now what you really, what he really mad about is I was with Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? And nobody would have never knew that, nigga, if you ain't caught my phone tripping about Karuchi. You she don't even fuck. That. I was with Rihanna, son. Rihanna, nigga. <laughs> yeah, Google the shit, YouTube the shit. After he beat her ass, nigga. I was there at that party, other Grammys that night. The night before he whooped her ass, I was there, nigga. I was there, me, Rihanna, Chris, Bow, all of we all was there at the Verizon Park. We all woke up to the news the same way the next morning. Chris Brown beat the shit out of Rihanna. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn. In my head, I'm like, damn, what happened? Like, what, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Bam. I'm in LA. I'm on tour with Lil Wayne at this time. Rihanna called my manager. I'm not reaching out to her now. She called my manager, Debbie Cota. If I'm lying about anything, nigga, God strike me down right now. She called my management. I want to come to Soldier Boy concert. I'm a young nigga from the hood, from Atlanta. I never had nothing my whole life. That's Rihanna, nigga. That's the biggest R&B impression. She just got humiliated. Come to the show. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no big deal. I was dating Tiana Taylor at the time. She pregnant now. She got a kid. She had a kid now. All type of shit by now. But at my at this, Google it, my I nigga. Remember, remember, Match the dates up, my nigga. At this time, Tiana Taylor is my girlfriend. I'm not studying Rihanna. 
<laughs> she called me. Well, can I pull up? So I said, okay, well, you know what? Cool. Tiana get to the show. I mean, uh, Rihanna get to the show. Tiana already on the tour bus. Tiana, Alicia, Bella, my friend, whatever. They, we all on the tour bus. We sitting in the back. Rihanna get on the bus. Everybody, what the fuck? What the fuck? She get to the back. Oh, shit. I said, yo, Tiana, you got to go. I know you're my girl and all, but Rihanna just got on the bus. Y'all got to go. You did. She got mad. She called Chris and snitch. He on the bus with Rihanna right now. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Bam. This is in LA. She come to the show, she watch the show, she like it. You know what I'm saying? Wayne come out, he perform. And I brought 50 Cent out, I get money, I get boom. We rocked that bitch. Rocked the fucking show, killed it. Rihanna like, oh, she on the side of the stage, they looking down, but she, I'm a player though, bro. I'm not finna go, yeah, I did this and that. No, I'm keeping on the low. I don't want nobody to know my business. Don't worry about my business. Bam, next day, I fly to New York. The tour continuing, I'm in New York. It's like one in the morning. My management called, Rihanna want to talk to you. Mind you, I ain't get her number. I ain't, you know, do nothing with her. I ain't try, you know what I'm saying? When she came to do the show, I just let her come and see the show. She said she wanted to come and see the show. She came to see the show. She was it was a, a, a Santa Ana. It was like 60,000 people in the crowd. We killed them and, and, and kept it moving, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in New York, it's like one in the morning. I'm like, uh, my management called again. Debbie Cole, the violator, rest in peace, Chris Light. She called, uh, Rihanna, Rihanna, wanna, Rihanna wanna see you. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm tired of doing all this back and forth. Just give me her number. I ain't pressed for it. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Just give me her number. Let me holler at her. I texted her. What's up? What, like, what's good? What's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm at the London Hotel. Come through. I just want to chill with you. I'm like, damn. I'm a young nigga from the hood. I already know what time that is. I know what that's about. I get one of my niggas, you know what I'm saying? He, my biggest big bro, Floyd, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't, I ain't want to get no security. I'm like, let me take one of my homies. He confirmed the same story. He sat in the room. I get to the London Hotel. Knock at the door, and I open the door in the road. I walk in, two of her best friends is there. We watch movies, we watch Pineapple Express, we smoke, we chill, we eat, we laugh. You know what I'm saying? We go in the room, me and her, she talks, she tell me, you know what I'm saying, Chris beat me up. She, I'm like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Cause I, mind you, the whole world seen this shit. This nigga damn near killed this girl, bro. She had to jump out the Lamborghini running for her life on the fucking side. Come on, my nigga, like, this nigga's a fucking. You know what I'm saying? And, he, and, that, and that's what the, I'm gonna be real with you, that's what the beef really stands from. It stands from Rihanna. But I seen him after that though. He called me, man, you was with Rihanna? Did you have sex with her? She came to your show? <coughs> you know, the same shit about he doing now with Karuchi, but way back then he was, you know, he wasn't snoring so much coke. He didn't have so many tattoos. Mind you, Chris Brown copied my whole swag. So what did you tell him? I've been tatted him? up, I've been tatted up since I was 14. Nigga, Chris Brown never had no tattoos. Now you want to tattoo your whole throat, you want to tattoo you. That ain't your look. What did you tell him when he called you and asked you if he had sex with Rihanna? I said, no, she just came to the concert and that was it. She watched the show and that was it, nigga. Don't worry about what the fuck going on over here. You beat her up, you ain't got no say so. Hmm. Pussy. And that's what it is. He think, he think he hard, but he think he hard because he beat up Rihanna. I ain't never heard of blood getting down with no nigga and winning. Ever. Period. Only thing I heard you put hands on was a female, nigga. So when we get in the ring, nigga, treat me like I'm Rihanna, nigga. Beat me like you did Rihanna, nigga. See what the fuck happened, nigga. I'ma knock your bitch ass out, nigga. And Rihanna coming to the fight. And Karuchi coming to the fight. And you know they can't wait to see this nigga get his ass beat. Well, you know, I'm promoting the fight. So I'm promoting the fight if, um... I got um. I just say that I'm enjoying this conversation. I got I got two. I mean, I got, I got two tickets for Rihanna, and two tickets for Karuchi. I got two tickets for both. Okay. And um, they got security. I got a couple extra tickets. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think this is gonna be a crazy event. I I think we should do the event. What you say, LA? I say LA. I'm gonna do it in LA. I thought Vegas was dope, but nah, let's... But, but L.A. Wait, so so I saw you training today on social media. Is that... Chapman had nothing to do with that. That's just me getting ready, pre, you know what I'm saying? The real training starts tomorrow. Okay. That was just me doing, doing me. Getting, you know. Now, are you training, Soldier, or who's, who, who are you training? Or are you just promoting the fight? We don't want to, we don't want to let, we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to tell the world nothing. All nothing. Right. But one thing we don't, we don't let the world know, these guys are not fighting yeah. Over females, they're not fighting. They're fighting because it it stem from them. It stem from them liking, not liking, really liking something. It don't You're have to be the female. So politically correct right now. Huh. He's not fighting over a woman, from what he said, but he's responding to the call for a fight because 
Chris is wanting to fight over the exactly. female. That's what he said. You want a fade, nigga? You can get your fade, I'm a, bitch. I, well, me, myself, I'm a promoter. Yes. Exactly. And this is going to be one of the biggest events. Oh, it's it's oh, the 20. Wow. Pacquiao, so Mayweather, team. and then Soldier Boy and Chris Brown. Abs absolutely. Right? <laughs> absolutely. So how? So are you going to let any other celebrities in this? Like, there may be other people out there with money, because I know I'm going to... In I'm, what? You mean attend the no, fight? No, or you mean like, in on the like, business? Like, in on the business. No, this is only big bro. I won't... Well, he... Well, well, you know, they, they said other people were talking about... Because their, every celebrity is posting this now. Snoop posted it. I want to say this. Every... Uh, there's a lot of different celebrities that's talking about they they are the promoter you know um he'll let you know who's the promoter big bro so adrian brunner is not involved with promoting this fight actually because he may be selling some scalp tickets in or something because he posted something about some shit i'm you gotta, you gotta ask him i'm not gonna buy from adrian brunner i'll buy from you i mean you, you gotta know, go to a trusted brand. i mean i you know <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna do a b like that you know a b has a fight coming up soon, and I want what I want Adrian Broner to do right now is focus on the task that's in front of him mm -hmm. that's coming up. Mm -hmm. While he focuses on his task, I'll, on I'll handle this. Money team, nigga. I'll handle this. The best ever, nigga. Y'all see what the fuck going on? Chris Brown, Adrian Broner, Soldier Boy, Floyd Mayweather. Fuck out of here. Is any money going to charity? Okay, so. I'm donating. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna I say. Think, I think. I think. I think that everybody should donate donate money to a great cause. I'm donate. Okay. I'm donate. I think that what we can do is help. You know, help a lot of the homeless people mm -hmm. in the city of Los Angeles. Rihanna has the Diamond Ball Foundation too. I'm sure maybe she'll take a little donation. That part. We got, we got the Social Boy Kids Coast. Foundation. I'm pretty sure Big Bro has Mayweather promotions. We got, pretty, you know what I'm we, we got yeah. if Chris Brown got a foundation, Symphonic Love. We would like to help. If Soldier Boy has a foundation, we would like to help. And any other celebrity that's, that want, that's going to be involved with this event, we should give back. It's about giving back. Exactly. But it's also about entertaining. This should be a great event. So is this three rounds, and it's how long a round? I I'd say uh, three three minutes. That's a long time, isn't it? But you know, also... That's why they're training. Mm. Training. You know, three, three minutes. And that's why everybody got me right. fucked up. Oh, he's smoking weed. Oh, he's see he on drugs. Oh, he... No. <laughs> I'm not doing no fucking drugs until the fight is over with and this nigga laying on the floor in front of me. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck some lean. Fuck some weed. That's I all actually, I do. I actually respected that you were honest about it the other day. But like you're going clean for the fight. I'm going clean. And then when you win... Are you gonna sip some lean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't know how we celebrate. Hey, when, we got, we got to say this. First, we got to get to the fight. So, to people out there that um, feel a certain way about how you all have exchanged stuff on social media, what do you say? People that say that you guys are rich, you've made it out the hood, you, you're successful, like you, you know. Hey, man! At the end of the day, we all human beings, man. And you know, God blessed us to, to bring us from the hood, to bring us to millions of dollars and having fans and all of that. But at the end of the day, we still human beings, and we still have feelings. And at the end of the day, I'm a motherfucking grown ass man. So you gonna respect me as such, or I'm gonna make you respect me as such. So are you and Sean Kingston still friends after his mother just put out what she put out? What she put out? She said something about she her well Drake put out I mean not Drake I don't know why I said Drake scratch that because Chris Brown put Drake out Drake already did end the Chris Brown career <laughs> went on beefing with a ghost Drake murdered you Drake just had Rihanna on, on made a hit with her and I forgot how the song go but oh oh I say my name watch my name whatever the fuck it was work 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 well work 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 why the fuck you ain't saying nothing to Drake and Drake gonna knock your bitch ass out too. You know what I'm saying? You want to pick or you want to pick and choose your battles, bro. If you're going to do that, fight every nigga that left heart eye, our heart eyes on the Karuchi pictures. You're going to be fighting the whole world. Pussy. Okay, last question. Is there, is there a page interesting? 
I, 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 Carucci, I, I like yeah, it. I mean, I, I like it. I will say Carucci. Showing the ass, she's in the bikinis, got the titties out. It looked like she like just somebody come save me. You know what I'm saying? And Chris just like, man, he trying to scare everybody away, man. Oh, you better not do it, nigga. You better, you better not do it. And I'm just like, nigga, she don't want your ass, nigga. I'm shoot my shot, bitch. <laughs> Are you coming back to loving hip hop? Man, that's over. That, you know, it was, it was no disrespect to nobody on that show. No disrespect to. You know, that whole, that's not my vibe. That's not, you know what I'm saying? I'm dropping my new album this year. I'm signing a new record deal right now. It's in the works. I got a lot of shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Me leaving that TV show was like the best thing that happened to me. What's your fans? I mean, me, myself. Yeah. I, you know what happened? Not to cut you off, champ. They promised me my own TV show. That was the only reason why I did it. Mona came to me, you do two seasons for me, I'll give you the Soldier Boy show on VH1. I did three seasons. <laughs> I still ain't get my TV show yet. So you know what? I'm just gonna put leave that it's behind called, me. Called, I mean, it's kind of like, the boxing business, broken promises, exactly. you know, but I can't say what really happened. I'm only going by, I'm only going by your story. Yeah. In boxing, they make a lot of broken promises. That's why I decided to go solo. Mm -hmm. And when I went solo, that was the best thing for my career. Millions. I mean, I think. Millions. Okay, so. Um, and I think me being here with Floyd Mayweather was the best thing for my career, my boxing career. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see how everything. So after goes. you win uh, this fight with Chris Brown, are you gonna be? Are you gonna sign him to Mayweather Promotions? Maybe really. Hold on. You said y'all need to meet. I got you. I got you. You said you only had one more question. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, it's a wrap for this. All right. Sorry, Adrian. You're not gonna get this fight either. <laughs> Thank okay. you for tuning in, everybody. Mayweather Promotions, Hollywood Unlocked, and Money so, Team, so Big Soldier, Chris Brown. Get your bitch ass in the ring, pussy. You brought this on yourself. You wrote a check that your ass can't cash. Now you're gonna get smashed. Money. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 Big soldier, nigga. You knew this day was gonna come.